and welcome to Upon Further Review. I'm Josh Aubrey. Plenty to get to in this week's show. We have previews from the upcoming Irk Russell Classic matchups between the Statesboro Blue Devils and the Southeast Bullock Yellow Jackets. We'll hear from coaches and players. We'll also send you out and hear from head coach Aaron Phillips of the Bullock Academy Gators as he gets set to travel up to Augusta and Augusta Christian. We'll hear from him and the players. Uh, also, not to forget, the Portal Panthers also playing in the Eric Russell Classic. They'll be taking on Twiggs County. That game starting at 6, and then Statesboro and Southeast Bullock playing afterwards at 9 o'clock. We also have some softball action to bring you. Statesboro played uh, Southeast Bullock at Mill Creek after losing uh, at home. The Yellow Jackets end up coming back in a big way at Mill Creek, shutting the Blue Devils out by a score of 15 to nothing. We'll have highlights of that game for you. We'll also check in with the Georgia Southern football team as they held their second scrimmage of the preseason and also held a youth clinic over in Savannah at Memorial Stadium. All that and more coming up on Upon Further Review. And a reminder before we go to break, hopefully you'll never be in an accident, but if so, please give our friends at the Sullivan Law Firm a call, 912-489-8888 or online at thesullivanlawfirm.com. Cook's Pharmacy, located on Highway 80 East, is family owned and operated by Lynn and Janie McCook, as well as their son, Josh McCook. Serving the Bullock County area since 2005, McCook's Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service where the customers come first. Vaccinations are available, including shingles, flu, pneumonia, and Tdap. Drive-through service is available with two drive-through windows for your convenience. McCook's Pharmacy offers free local deliveries and new customers are always welcome. Continuing the tradition of our family, caring for your family, McCook's Pharmacy, Highway 80 East. Well, the big news from over the weekend as far as the Georgia Southern Eagles are concerned was the play of Ben Carr in the U.S. Am. He ends up falling to Sam Bennett in the 36th hole in the finals of the U.S. Am. Quite a finish for Ben Carr. He was currently ranked 70th in the uh, world as far as the amateurs go. Sam Bennett was ranked third. The new rankings are due out soon, and Ben Carr should go up quite a bit. The Eagles will be opening up their season up in Notre Dame early next month. As for the Georgia Southern football team, big news for them was their second scrimmage of the preseason. They held that this past weekend in Savannah. They also hold, held a youth clinic. We had a chance to catch up with head coach Clay Helton about how things went. Well, you got 50 new guys on this team. You know, basically 33 scholarship, 33 scholarship players, 17 new walk-ons that have never experienced getting on a bus, having a police escort, coming over here, having to play in a different venue you've never played in before. And so that training tool is unique and it's special. I appreciate our administration allowing to do it. I appreciate the city of Savannah, uh, who's critical to our success of being able to load Pulse and up with even more fans. So it's a great training tool and it's a great day for us today. You know what I really liked was the first offense and how that fast they started. You know, we gave Kyle, Kyle has had a lot of reps in this camp. We wanted him to start fast with that offense and that opening drive uh, right off the bat, 75 yard drive, really going 100% on the day by him. I thought he's really in tune and really in a great position. And then it was about seeing where our twos and threes are at. I think that's our biggest area of growth right now offensively. I feel really confident in our, in our ones, but we will only be as good a team as we can be if our twos and threes grow right now. Defensively, I, I tell you what, we do have. Uh, we're, we're, we're pretty deep right now with a bunch of players that made good plays today and created turnovers, uh, which I like to see. So, you know, really impressed by the first group offensively. Got to grow with group two and three and defensively a really solid day, which has been basically who they've been all the camp. Once again, the Eagles preparing for their big uh, season opener coming up September 3rd against Morgan State with a 6 o'clock kickoff. Stay with us. Plenty of high school action coming up next. Family Internal Medicine Associates of Statesboro providing primary care for Statesboro area patients since 1998. Providing complete physicals, complete sports physicals, Medicare wellness exams, full diabetes treatment, and education from lifestyle changes to oral medications to insulin pump therapy, in-house dermatology, in-house circulation tests, and ultrasounds, 
and in-house labs. Featuring nurse practitioner Melissa Beasley, Family Internal Medicine of Statesboro can accommodate same-day or next-day appointments to serve your needs. Family Internal Medicine and Associates of Statesboro, where we care. At Thadcock Home Furniture and More, we know what it means to find the perfect fit. The feeling of surprise. That just right moment of delight. It's what we see every time a family finds their priced right style and snuggle perfect comfort. Because for us, home isn't simply where you live, it's how you live. Badcock Home Furniture and More, just right. Well, a unique weekend coming up for Statesboro and Southeast Bullock as they'll be meeting for only the third time on the football field. They'll be taking on, they'll be playing each other in the second game of the Irk Russell Classic Saturday at nine o'clock at Paulson Stadium. We had a chance to talk with both the coaches and the players. We're going to begin with the Statesboro Blue Devils. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, late in the game, we got whipped with the line of scrimmage on defense. Uh, we still got a lot of youth in that area, not necessarily youth, but inexperience. Uh, you know, we started a ninth grader at Nose, and he played very well for three and a half quarters. Uh, we're musical chairs at the tackle spot, but you know, all of them did some good things. But we got to be consistently physical. You know, we did some good things offensively. Um, you know, we didn't throw the ball much, but we hit the two deep balls to James. Uh, and, you know, they pressed him, and James has elite speed, so um, he got behind them. And uh, you know, Bruce Yon did a very, very good job of managing the game. We didn't ask him to do a whole lot. He didn't have to when you and you got to run him back to rush for 277 on 24 carries. Uh, Jordan did very, very well. He's a Fast, elusive, and physical, and you have that combination. He's, you know, you're set up for some success. But really, really pleased with the way our offensive line played. Had two sophomores start and, and play the entire game, and uh, they're two big kids that, that really want to play and play well. Uh, another opportunity to play in Paulson Stadium. Uh, be, I mean, you know, the community's jacked up. And, you know, ready for us to play, and we are too, but you know, this is the most important game of the year simply because it's the next game. Uh, you know, looking forward to it. Uh, Southeast Bullets got a good football team, great coaching staff. Uh, you know, they got a young quarterback or inexperienced quarterback, but has done a phenomenal job in the first two competitions, uh, making plays, managing the game. He's done nothing to hurt them, uh, he does an exceptional job. They have a tight end. This, uh, very, very good, uh, good physical player that they use in different areas, and, and they've got pretty good team speed uh, on the perimeter. So it'll be, uh, you know, they're getting ready for us, we're getting ready for them, and, and you know, 12 o'clock Sunday morning, there'll be a victor and there'll be a loser. Well, it was a tough loss, and um, the offense, I mean, we had a really tough game. I mean, we, we were physical, um, the offense did really good. We have some things to work on offense and defense. Uh, I'm not, I'm disappointed about the loss, but I'm happy the way we played. I've always wanted to play SCB. We played them in middle school, and uh, I'm just, I'm ready. It's going to be, should be packed. I hope it is, and great atmosphere at Paulson, and it'll be a great game. From the loss, I'm pretty sure everybody disappointed, but I'm not, I don't think nobody's mad because everybody played full out effort. Uh, I feel like as a team, we did good. Nobody gave up, nobody put their head down. So I don't think it's anybody that's mad, it's just disappointment. It's things that we need to work on. Just like another experience there, uh, I'm glad to play against my friends. The ones I played against in middle school is just another middle school game, just on the next level. It'll be fun, I'm ready to play. I just feel like we need a lot of focus this 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 week for this game. Uh, like Coach Kaza always say, it's always a mental game, and whoever wins at the line of scrimmage wins the game, so I just feel like Coming in as a team, we'll win. Uh, and like you said, bragging rights, we just get it if we win. If we don't, we don't. Southeast Bullet Coaches Show segment is brought to you in part thanks to Southeast Tire and Service. Southeast Tire and Service has been in business for 13 years, offering extensive vehicle repair and service from bumper to bumper. Come have a cup of coffee with us and let us help you with your car needs. Located at 400 Parker Avenue in Brooklyn. As for the Southeast Bullock Yellow Jackets, it's their first time playing in the Eric Russell Classic. We had a chance to talk with Jared Zito, their head coach, and a couple of his players about playing Statesboro and being in the Bigs Showcase. 
Well, yesterday you had a chance, you know, to, to watch some of those key plays um, that we felt like we really uh, put us in a real put us in a real bind. Um, and, and, you know, the film never lies. And, and so there's early season, first game mistakes, and some of them were just fundamental mistakes. Um, some of them were just happen chance, you know, tip ball interceptions or the guy rips the ball out of another guy's hand. And, um, you know, I think our guys know that, you know, we played some really good football, but you, you you know, I told them this game's about effort and execution, and our effort was outstanding, our guts and our courage and our fight and all those things that you love about football, but you gotta, you got to pair that with execution, and we didn't do that enough, um, and we let, let a, a talented Liberty County team beat us um, right at the end. Big game, I just, you know, what a great atmosphere it's going to be, a, a challenge. Statesboro's a big offensive line, talented uh they got a talented receiver, talented quarterback, talented running back. Those three guys can make plays from anywhere. Uh, defensively, two tall, six, six defensive ends, lots of speed over there. Um, you know, we, we got to just take care of us, um, play our best football, take care of the ball. You know, offensively, the scrimmage game in game one, we had two turnovers in each game that led to either direct scores or a score on the following drive. And so, one thing I, we prided ourselves last year on, we really didn't turn the ball over very much. And right now that's a big fix for us. We, if, we, if we don't turn the ball over um, and keep those guys, you know, they're going to get their yards. They're really good players. Got to keep them from having big time explosive runs over and over again. Um, uh, you know, try to get the game in the fourth quarter and, and see if we can comp compete to the end. You know, a lot of our kids know their kids and vice versa. And I said, okay, this, this, it's fun to know guys, and after the game, you can be friends with them or whatever, talk to them. And, but this, this can't be personal. It's Southeast Bullock versus Statesboro. And if it gets personal, it gets you off of your game plan. You start doing things because it's somebody else you know or whatever. And so um, I said, let's stay off social media. Let's, hey, we're going to work hard this week, be the best version of us on Saturday night, and um, try, to, try to make a competitive game uh, in the Classic. Uh, we just got to fix the the small issues that we had and if we can fix everything then I think we'll play a good game. Very excited. Everybody's ready for ready to play. Um, we know a bunch of people on the team so I think we're just ready for some good competition. I mean it's just, I don't know, I think uh, there's going to be a bunch of people there. I think it's going to be really fun just to see how we stack up against other people in the same county. There's definitely some new guys that really needed that to see how full speed Friday night's going to be and learn from their mistakes and get better. The intensity, the intensity, it's going to be crazy. But as of like what you said, how we done been playing them in middle school, it's going to be way different because we done growed up, we done got better. We're just seeing each other again and playing them, it's going to be, it's going to be fun. Stadium's going to be packed out. I feel like this is going to be the biggest game in town, especially Saturday. Everybody going to want to come. They're just going to set it off. Battle for the barrel. Ready. Yeah, I feel like everybody ready. And of course, kicking off the Eric Russell Classic will be the Portal Panthers taking on Twiggs County. That game getting things underway at 6 o'clock. Stay with us. We'll talk to Aaron Phillips and a couple of the Bullock Academy players about their matchup on the road coming up next. Ready for fall? Us too at RJ Pope. Get ready to cheer on your favorite team in a new performance polo from Peter Millar, Southern Tide and Aft Coat. Ladies, we have the best brands and trending fashions. Complete your look with one of our best-selling shoe brands. Soft, on cloud, and free people. Shop these brands and so much more at one of our three locations. RJ Pope Buckhead, Downtown, and Vidalia. Well, the Bullock Academy Gators 1-0 on the season, coming off a big win over Tift area. As they hit the road for Augusta Christian, we had a chance to talk with Aaron Phillips and a couple of his players about the matchup. Uh, we had some, some guys step up and had to play running back for us, our A-back, our wings, and uh, those guys had great nights. I mean, Reed Clifton uh, made some, some unbelievable runs, made some guys miss, and were able to, to score two long touchdowns. So did Luke Willoughby. Um, those guys stepped up for, for Isaiah, and, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're kind of thin there, especially when we have one guy out. Um, to have two guys out, uh, Perosa, Brennan, and Isaiah really hurt. So 
we were super nervous going into Friday night. You know, we, we really only had two A-backs and, and a guy we had just been working that week in practice. Um, but those guys stepped up and, and, and toted the rock for us, and, and they did a great job. Um, Landon Brooks and uh, Case and Chaney played awesome on defense. I think Landon had, in our defensive uh, point system where we grade them, he had 34 points from a nose guard position, um, which is off the charts, higher than Coach Clark's ever had in 37 years. Augusta Christian, they're going to dress about 60. Um, they're a big South Carolina skis of school. They play in the highest classification over there. It'll be a good test for us. You know, they come off beating uh, Ridge Spring Mineta uh, out of South Carolina Public School this past weekend, beat them pretty good. Um, you know, I think, you know, up front's where it's going to be won. You know, our, our guys are, you know, we told them all year, you know, with our offense and defense, it's, it's the guys that play in the dirt's where we're going to win the football game at. Um, and, and I think, you know, I think our guys are ready to take that challenge. Uh, they're, they're amped up about it. They're playing a team they never played before, um, so uh, or hadn't played in a long, long time. Um, so, um, you know, I think they're excited. A Christian brings a lot of guys that have some skill set, uh, some speed uh, on the perimeter. Uh, quarterback uh, throws the ball pretty good. I, I think his best weapon is, is moving around in the pocket, creating something uh, when he's flushed. Uh, so we're going to have to do a good job of keeping him uh, hemmed up. And, uh, but we're ready, we're ready to go. We, uh, we're, we're, we're finally getting healthy this week, myself included, and, and uh, we're ready to kind of get out there and uh, see what we can do. I think that was big for us. You know, it hurt us early on in the scrimmage with Brennan Prosa getting hurt, but it, we were able to, uh, you know, play well even without him. Some younger guys were able to step up, and it's good to get the first one under your belt. I think we're putting, feeling pretty good. Um, Morgan Barrett, he'll be back this week. He messed up his ankle, but he should be good to go. Isaiah Smart will be back. So once we get everybody healthy, I think we got a pretty good shot to make a run at it. Oh, yeah, it's really nice to get off to a one of start. Puts us ahead. It was a great win, great team win. I feel like our defense did good, our offense did good. Oh, uh, yeah, our defense had a bunch of turnovers. Justin Tran, he got a – Fumble six, that helped us out on the scoring side. And our offense ran the ball great, so that really helped us score those points. We get Isaiah back and Morgan back, they'll be a big help for the offense, and Morgan will be a big help for the defense too because he plays defense. And that'll wrap it up for this week's show. We thank you for joining us. Hope to see you again next week.